gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. Fight! Fight! All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here is Bruce Ladies Buck. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Bullet crew. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. Great to be with you tonight live from Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And when I was here for UFC 113 back in 2010, George St. Pierre wasn't even fighting. <laughs> Loudest pro sports venue I have ever been. John, they get so excited to watch me fight. Look, man, when you go to Montreal, it's a great city, but it's cold. People are going to the arena not only for the fights, but to escape the snow. And once they get there, they are screaming and going absolutely crazy. This is a great fight environment. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Rock'em, suck him out of the shoot here. Let's focus, let's focus now. 
All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. The big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the toe. Connects with a right. Punches block. Lands the right hand. He is all about that left kick to the body. And both guys really throwing with authority. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. What a body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Lands. You want to talk about oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Spinning back fist. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, he moved right into the kick there, a kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Head kick lands. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Goes back to that left kick once again. Good punch lands. And continues with the inside leg kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Right on the button. Straight right, he misses. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Nice body kick. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Went for the inside leg kick. Great punch, landed with so much power. Very bad. Big 
head kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Punch. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, and he caught the kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Try to establish that jab. Three minutes now to go in round two. Hands up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice loop at once. And they separate. Oh! Oh! He's the fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ooh, big shot lands. Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice punch, man. Beautiful combination there by Lee. Back to the jab now, no good. strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Way to hide that leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Liver kick. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Spinning back fist is there. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. What a punch. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Beautiful kick. And he landed the right hand there. Ten seconds remain in round two. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability.
matchup. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. Looking to land the leg kick now. Stay on him. Yes, they heard it in the last round. Same exact one. Big kick land. Big head kick land. That's a big strike right there. Massive head kick. Outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world class display of striking here tonight. Lee's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Ooh, what a punch! Leg kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. And he switches his stance yet again. That kick blocked by Lee. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Effective strike there by Lee. That was sweet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just missed with the leg kick. Let's get that now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful strike. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing a smart thing. Oh, he up. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make it pay for it. Whiffs on that offering. Single collar tie now. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good though in this round. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. He blocks the shot. Oh, and he counters effectively with a jab upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this match. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds.
All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your school. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big head kick land. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Miss on that spinning attack. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Slips that left hand. Ooh, what a head kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Straight right. How about that shin? Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. This they talk about the feeling off process. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Just missed with the left there. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Back and forth we go here. Beautiful body kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. What a fantastic strike. Oh! Very bad. Punch over the top. Real sneaky body kicks. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit... There, DC, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, big left hook there! Oh, nice high kick. Hard shots landing on both sides. Both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he got it bad! 
bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. He gets hit by that leg kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up? A beautiful strike like that knee with. We'll see very shortly. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. There's no give on that leg kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Dig and kick. Shot is blocked by Lee. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. <laughs> nice punch lands over the top. Keep going with that. Less than three minutes to go now in this fifth and final round. Lands flush with that right hand. Hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Lee's trying for a submission here. Like he may try to hip escape. Good work from the top here by Lee. The ground and pound has been there all night.
Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Lees has got full mount now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Lee. Under a minute now to go on the fight. Come on, let's go, do something. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Lee. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice right hand. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. The ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions.